So here's my WordPress SEO tip for today. A lot of people are not using WordPress's built-in more tag and uh, there's a good reason that you should be using that if you're not. So I'm looking at one of my blogs here. This is a travel blog that my wife and I write and you can see that uh, this post I just wrote, the entire post is on the home page. And we've got a couple of pictures, we've got a few paragraphs, etc. Uh, this is bad because Google and other search engines are confused, right? We've got an entire post here, and then if I click on the link to the post itself, I've got the exact same content on another page on my blog. Now Google has to determine which post do they index. Do they index the one on the home page, or do they index the one here? Now if someone, if, if I get a lot of comments on this blog post, then I'll be okay because Google's going to pick the, the page with the unique content, which means the, con the page with comments. But if I don't get a lot of comments, and let's face it, a lot of times blog posts don't get comments, then you're going to end up with, you know, like I say, duplicate content. And there's a pretty good chance that Google's going to miss uh, this, the blog post itself. They're going to index your home page, but they're not going to index the blog post. Fortunately, there's a really easy fix. Uh, there's something called the more tag. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this post right here. Uh, and I'm going to go to a full screen view so you can see the entire thing really easily. Uh, so you're going to do, you know, here's the whole post. I'm going to break this post into two pieces. I'm going to put one piece on the front page and then I'm going to put the rest on the uh, individual post page. And again, it's just the more tag. The more tag, we just put the cursor wherever we want it to go, which I'm going to put it at the end of this line right here. And then you're going to look for a funny little... Uh, icon it looks like two white rectangles with a, with a line break between them and you'll see that Google or excuse me WordPress inserts a line break here and then a little tiny more thing over here on the right that's it that's all we have to do I'm gonna leave full screen view and update the blog post and now when we look at the home page instead of seeing the entire post which is what we've got right now I'll refresh and we will see a shortened version And the shortened version, right, just two paragraphs in a picture, has a nice little read more link or read more here link, depending upon how your theme is set up. This link text will change. Uh, but anyway, that's it, right? So if someone's reading my blog, they've got just enough information here to decide to read more about this post. And Google is no longer confused. They know that this is just a snippet on the home page and that they do need to index the specific blog post. And then that way I get more visitors, more pages in the index better rankings, etc. Anyway, good WordPress SEO tip, use the more tag.